What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Showtime Young Stars Volume 2 Player Pack Review, Leveling and Training Guide, and what skills to throw on them as well. And just give you a brief synopsis of these cards. You've got Gavardiel, who's got Fortress as his Showtime skill. You've got Game Changing Pass Kamavinga, who's down as an orchestrator. And of course, you have the Speed Demon Van de Ven. Now, these packs and these players would be huge maybe about three or four months ago, but now everybody has kind of got beastly squads and beastly players, and obviously you can carry them forward for eFootball 2025. This is a good pack of trio, but it just maybe it's come too late, especially when legends like Romario and players like Hollett and Rijkaard have either been out or will be coming out, the likes of Pirlo and those guys, right, Sakaria. So that's kind of where Kamavinga falls in. Now, it is a phenomenal card and one of the most unique cards out there. This also comes in a pack here with other players such as Onana looks pretty decent. He is pretty decent. I've played with him. Balde is a bit of a beast as well. You have United's new sign in Euro. He'll be getting a, a new card as well. Um, but yeah, it's all about these three boys here, right? So we're just going to show you a really quick build. Now, this is a build that Riza sent to me on Discord. You've got 85 defensive awareness, you've got 90 tackling, 91 aggression, and 92 defensive engagement. Just to kind of show you a little bit of different things that you can do with these cards. Um, but I do feel like there's Van de Ven as well, right? Now, I will have the builds in a second, but I'm going to show you the, the, the stats of this card here, right? So, Kamavinga, we know what we're going to be getting out of him. He's got aggression, acceleration, physical contact, and stamina boosted stats. And, of course, he's going to have 33 levels. Very unique card, because the thing I like about Kamavinga after playing with him, he's 182 CM, but he's only 68 kg. He also has really nice tight possession off the rip, and he also has soul control and double touch with true passing one touch and game changing. On top of that, and this is where the real trick comes with Kamavinga, he actually has, for an orchestrator, interception, blocker, sliding tackle, and of course then he's got super sub as well. I think if you're starting Rijkaard or Vieira or Pirlo or Zakaria or David or Makalele or Kante or any of these guys, right, and you're looking to get a little bit more creativity, second half Kamavinga could be absolutely immense if you have the luxury of using him as a super sub. It's just a ridiculous card. Now, we're going to show you the builds here at the end. We do have the builds for the three players here, right? I'm going to talk you through these. You've got Kamavinga with four passing, six dribble and nine decks, lower body nine, and then aerial strength two with defend and ten. I definitely think, and you can take a, you can pause the video there if you just want to have a look at the actual builds. But I definitely think that you need to listen to this trick I'm going to give you with Kamavinga. Right, when you are using a player like Kamavinga, it's very important where you actually play him. Right, and also for his additional skills, I think it's a huge thing that you give him low lofted pass, especially if you're playing him with an anchorman. When you are using an orchestrator, you're missing out on usually either an anchorman, a destroyer, or a box-to-box, -box, if you're playing a traditional two-man pivot in midfield. This is the one weakness Kamavinga has, or has had in other cards, whereas with this card, you literally are able to give him advanced special double touch with flip-flap, and of course, you'll be able to give him you know, outside curler, um, air acrobatic clearance, aerial superiority, because he has every other stat and skill that you could possibly want. Gavardiel kind of falls into this category as well, right? We've already seen the build that I'm going to go for with Gavardiel, and it is there, 0, 2, 6, 10, 8, 12. And I feel like with this card as well, he's got a really, really, really nice card. Pinpoint crossing, he's got early crosser and long ball expert with his AI playing styles. Interception, blocker, aerial superiority, slide and tackle, acrobatic clearance and fighting spirit with man marking. Every single defensive skill in the game, including Fortress, which, as it says, Fortress is... Um, when you are leading at half time, your all your your defensive players will get a boost. So Gavardiel's defense is going to get a boost. It's not a visual thing. It's behind the scenes. It's a mechanic in the game. Um, so you can't see it. It's not like his aggression will go from seventy four to seventy eight if you have Fortress activated. But it does activate in the second half. And again, for builds with Gavardiel, it's all about getting his defense up, his tackling up, his aggression up, while still having speed and acceleration. Don't make the mistake of turning turning Gavardiel into like a Roberto Carlos type player and pumping a loan into speed and acceleration. Um, you know, this guy that I have here of him, I think is the best. 10 into lower body and 12 into defending. You're going to get an absolute machine that can go up and down the left flank or play CB. If you're playing CB and you don't need as much lower body, you can just take that down a little bit. You can take the dexterity down a little bit. Once it's at 75, it should be more than enough. Um, and you don't need any dribbling if you're playing CB. So you can just pump maybe two more into defending and that will you know, make that a little bit better. And then last but not least, we have Mickey van de Ven. Very, very solid. He's down as a destroyer. I do like this card. I'm not going to lie. 
It's a very, very solid card. He's got heading, he's got weighted pass, long throw, man marking, interception blocker, aerial superiority, and slight and tackle. Give him acrobatic clearance. Again, he's down as a destroyer. Everything you could possibly want in this card with his booster. It is going to be effective if you're playing him as a CB. I definitely think left back as a defensive left back could work here as well because he's got blister and speed and acceleration. And if you are playing as a left back, you won't need as much defense. But I think that if you are going to be using him, a build like this could work where it's all in the 90s for the defense and speed and acceleration. We've gone for a slightly build, a different build here where you're going to have the defending 15, 3 into lower body and 4 into dexterity. That's going to give you 90 speed, 90 acceleration, and most of his defensive stats in where they need to be. But again, it all depends on how you want to play Van de Ven. I think as a CB, he's 89 kg, so he's not going to be, you know, he's not going to be that silky on the ball. Um, so there's no point training him up, dribbling or anything like that. I would just use him as a CB and let him dominate with his speed. One problem with this card is that 90 speed, you don't really need it at the moment. So I think that defense is where you need to pump in those stats. But let me know if you spun or you skipped. I will be back with another video quite soon. Until then, have a good weekend. We'll talk to you in a bit.